Paramount. We're not even worth joking about now with all that crap Warner Brothers is pulling. Up in the sky! Look! It's a bird! It's a plane! It's Superman! This crowd does this every week and it still takes them three tries to realize it's Superman. Oh yeah, this was that era when the Rocketeer became one of those Second Amendment weirdos. Action comics and Superman magazines in this economy? Graham Place is what I say when I forget the words Castle Daventry. I wonder if the crowd stuck around to read the credits. Faster than a speeding bullet. So he'll be faster than a bulleteer, too. That takes care of any stakes. Able to leave tall buildings in a single bound. Able to reuse animation in a single cut. The man of steel. Dang automation putting the men of bronze out of work. Possessing remarkable physical strength, Superman fights a never-ending battle for... Never-ending? Superman's not going to see retirement? Maybe he is a millennial. I guess I should get back to that battle if it's, you know, never-ending. Sounds like Beauty and the Beast Live on stage is starting. The random nighttime building's playset comes with everything you see here. Hooray, the bulleteers say ACAB. Were the cops storing 4th of July fireworks? Bullet Car is the direct-to-video spinoff that couldn't get Brad Pitt. Send in Lois Lane and Clark Kent. And hire a third reporter someday. And they're already scowling at each other. Oh, wait, you're Clark Kent? I was thinking of someone cooler. Attention. Whoa, the answer is literally blowing in the wind. Today was only a small demonstration of our power. Why do they always put the most bored sounding guy on PA duty? Shh, Chernobog is sleeping. Firehouses and all municipal buildings will be next. We want the money, Lebowski! This is your last warning. And they laughed when I built a retractable microphone into a desk. Wait, City Hall is literally just a big hallway? What are the authorities going to do about this, Mr. Mayor? Metropolis Mayor Hank Hill. ...by criminal threats. Law and order must and will prevail. Unless NBC cancels it again. Anyway, this guy instacarted 63 sacks of flour, so we better get going. Hey, kids, it's me, Riley the Rifle. And me, Gary the Gun. Come join the Bulleteers. Hey, a full team of the Jay Garrick version of The Flash is on duty. Wait, that's it! The bulleteers only attack on nights that the clock strikes! Metropolis, she wrote. I don't have to stand for this sarcasm, putting quotes around our name. Ah, this room looks easy to animate. Oh. Oh, why do they even have a single rider line if they're not going to fill every available seat? Turns out they're riding an actual bullet. The bulleteers are like an inch tall. They're just Lilliputians. The original rocket rods was far more impressive. Sure is handy we found this fully working hideout under Wade Manor, boss. Searchlights? I thought this was Paramount, not Fox. The bulleteers! Hey, why do you get to have the title line, Terry? Oh, Larry boy. Where we're going, we don't need roads full of cops shooting at us. Yeah, I drive my car with a microscope. What of it? It cost them 53 bucks a minute to use the wings. Whoa, bullet car had a few too many. So their evil scheme is just firing a missile, except one they have to ride in, rendering it less effective than a normal missile. Boy, Fleischer Studios loved animating gauges. Are they hijacking the Billion Dollar Limited again? And slide into first. Meanwhile, across from Rick's Cafe... The press is up stop. The press is up stop. When did the Daily Planet hire Paul Revere? Suck it, Clark. I hope I ran over your foot. 
this looks like a job for Superman. Actually, it's too dark to look like much of anything right now. All right, I hope there's another dinosaur this time. My big-ass diesel punk car ought to stop them. I let you hit those other buildings, but now you're going after money. I have to defend the American way, specifically capitalism. And now rehearsals for Dick Tracy the Musical. Beep, beep, get off the road. For crying out loud, Lois, stop parking in the red zone. Oh, Lois is just waking up. The debris put her to sleep like a bird. Nice of the cartoon to do its own rule 34. I've got super speed, but crawling slowly is more fun. Surrender Dorothy? Oh no, gravity decided to work on him. That wasn't the bullet car. Superman misjudged his landing and broke everything. Hey, it's Lois Ferratu. Oh, it's been like a week since I've climbed into anything dangerous. I'm itching for a fix. Gasp! The bad guys are in the place that the bad guys were last seen. Psh, my plane's way better than this one. Oh crap, it's a Spirit Airlines flight. Run, Lois! Giant frozen cheese blocks, my only weakness. I know I dropped my AirPods somewhere. Hey, there's a girl stuck in the window. Come here, honey, let's find your parents and get you home. There's a Superman on the wing of the plane. That's a really clean retraction considering the damage done to the wing. I can't do this all on my own. Wait, yes I can, I am Superman. I'll open a pop top and blow out your flip flop. Time for that jolly juggler, Bulleteer. Three at once. Hey, there's stuff happening in the shot of the ground this time. So the bullet car can survive crashing through several buildings, but it's no match for a prairie. Nice going, Lois. Another great scoop for you. It was easy. Thanks to Superman. And I guess thanks to the Bulleteers, too, couldn't have reported on their crime without the crime. Superman will return in the Mulleteers, where he faces off against a young Billy Ray Cyrus. Ah, another day saved. I'm so glad Superman was able to take down that bullet car that turned into a plane that was functionally a rocket that required three people inside to operate. It's no dinosaur, but still glad he was able to take it down. And I'm also glad my patrons were here to help me brainstorm jokes for this riff on a Patreon exclusive live stream. Specifically, these patrons. That's right, the bullet car may require three people to operate, but this riff mobile required help from seven people. And as always, we came up with so many jokes that we couldn't fit them all into a single riff. So this Thursday, $2 and up patrons will get to see the alternate jokes from this video. Plus right now, $2 and up patrons can see next week's Obsession of the Moment. It's about a computer game walkthrough book. It's much weirder than it sounds. And patrons at any level will have the chance to join the next Patreon livestream whenever it may be. Thank you all for watching. Don't get into any bullet cars with strangers. And until next time, this is Dave, signing off.